concerning the divisions of the porters of the Korhites was Meshelamaiah, the son of Kori, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah, the firstborn, Jediael, Jediael, the second, Zabadiah, the third, Jathniel, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Jehoahan, the sixth, Elio, Elianonai, the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obed-Edom were Shemaiah, the firstborn, Jehozabad, the second, Joah, the third, and Sakar the fourth, and Nethanael, the fifth, Amiel, the sixth, Issachar, the seventh, Peultai, the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were born sons, there were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Rephael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Shemakiah, all these of the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obed-Edom, and Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen, also Hosa of the children of Merari, had sons, Simri, the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief, Hilkiah, the second, Tebaliah, the third, Zechariah, the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Among these were the division of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another, to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots as well, the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shemala, Shelemaiah, or Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and for his lot came out northward, to Obed-Edom, southward, and to his sons the house of Asupim, to Shupim and Hosa, the lot came forth westward, with the gate Sheleketh, by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Asupim two and two. At Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kore, and among the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Ladan, the sons of uh, the Gershonite, Ladan, chief uh, fathers, even of Ladan, the Gershonite, were Jehiel, Jehieli. The sons of Jehieli, Zatam and Joel, his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Aramites and the Etharites, the Hebronites and the Uzielites, and Shebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasuries, of the treasures, and his brethren by Eliezer, Rehabiah, his son, and Jeshaiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, uh, and Shelomith his son, which Shelomith and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things which David the king and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the hosts had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battle did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that... Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Hoab the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelomith and his brethren. Of the Isharites, Kenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges, 
and for the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward, and in all the business of the Lord and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah, uh, the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generation of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David, they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Hazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites and Gadites, and over the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and affairs of the king.